What up guys, your boy Jose, and I know I haven't been vlogging for a very long time because I've been trying to be a really good nursing student. So this video is really going to be about a clinical, oh, an update. An update of what been going on. I finished my fundamentals, I passed my dosage eva evaluation exam. We're about to start pharmacology on Monday. And yeah, since I finished my fundamentals, I passed my fundamentals, I passed my finals, I passed the exams that was coming through. Like, my last vlog was talking about like, oh, um, I'm getting exams every Thursday. Yeah, I was getting exams every Thursday. Since I was getting exams every Thursday, I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go all in. I wasn't able to be vlogging that much. I was just focus. But Thursday, I had my first clinical and it was really dope. But the video is going to be about my clinical essential. If you haven't been watching my, my videos or you're not familiar with my channel, basically, I came from a different school. Um, I completed fundamentals, med search, pharmacology 1, pharmacology 2, maternity, and the subject that really gave me a hard time was pediatric. And now I'm in the part time. This is really dope. This is, I could breathe, I could chill out. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying like, for people who are having a hard time while they're in part-time, you know what? It's your first time. Me, I, I tell people all the time, I took this class already. When you're out of one program, you have to start all over to another program because programs over here, like credits, don't really get passed on. So I track, back to the subject of the video, my clinical essential. <clears throat> when it comes out to clinicals, we can't bring things with us. We can't bring our book bags. We can't have none of that. Because most of the time, we're just in and out. We're in and out. In clinicals, it's in and out. Even in my other school, in and out. You're not allowed to bring your book bag. I mean, you can bring your book bag, but at the same time, you're going to put it out. And usually, when you go into clinical you're just straight into actions it's like literally like you're working but me on the other hand i have my little essentials that i picked up from like little essentials that i've learned based on experience that i need that really help me out to make clinicals really helpful like really easy really comfortable and hopefully you could pick up some stuff that you'll see it and you'll be like oh you know what that's a really good idea one thing is instead of scope Stethoscope. In a lot of nursing school, they really endorse Litman. Litman, Litman's really cool. Um, my mom, when she was in the ER, she had a Litman. That that was her thing. She was like Litman, Litman, Litman. Um, I was considering Litman, 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 but at the same time, I was like, let me try something else. And when I went to a scrub store in New Jersey, Scrubs and Beyond. And Scrubs and Rihanna asked him, be like, listen, there's one over there and one over there. What's really the difference? I know Prestige. I'm familiar with Prestige. Prestige is pretty good. But I want to get one where when I was starting off and I got these stethoscope, I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, I'm not really trained to hear like that. And they were like, you know what? A go one, you could get a Litman, which costs 50 and up. Or you could get an MDF instrument which is 30 quality is the same and some people like they were telling me that some people actually prefer the mdf like they, they tried out all the litman and kept on returning it until one day they were like why would you try the mdf and that they stuck to it and i'm one of those people who was like yo i like i prefer mdf maybe because i like the underdogs underdogs are always the best plus it's affordable this is the have take it apart that's like actually an accessory. Uh, this is a uh, MDF 747XP Acoustica XP. Boom. Dual head. And yeah, I like this. So this is most important thing when you get in the um, stethoscope. Airbuds, make sure that you have really good comfortable airbuds. Really good comfortable airbuds. Pay attention to that. These airbuds actually form into my ear. It's it's like you know it's rubberish so it's easy to clean it's not a mess it's all blacked out like a G keep it gangster no well, I just like the all black with the wall look at that all black though all black um it came with spare parts with the um with the earbuds the diaphragm and all that stuff the best thing about this other than the fact that it cost $30 and it works awesome I have a lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty as in if something goes wrong, all I have to do is contact them to send me a brand new part or a whole new set. I got a lifetime warranty, lifetime supply of earbuds whenever I need it, but most likely not going to need it because 
unless you lose it, then you're in trouble. That that last one you will need to get earbuds, but after one or two, all I have to do is go to the website and be like, listen, I need new buds, and they send it to me. Boom, these are really good, thirty dollars. Um, just comes and beyond. And aside from that, when it comes down to my stethoscope, I also have an attachment, which is like a light. Some people have pen lights. Pen lights are really good. The only thing with pen lights is that you lose them. You lose them or they run out of battery. And this is always a backup. This is a light, which is perfect when you're checking Perla and stuff like that. Really dope. So basically, if I don't have my pen, um, I don't have my pen light. I got my stethoscope and it's just right there, and it's good to go. Aside from that, too, I have a pocket organizer. When it comes to my pocket organizer, boom, it's literally everything that I need. Everything that I need for my clipboard. I can have a bag, so I carry everything with me. I have my scissors. Make sure I stay on steel. I have my secondary pen light with the um, measurements. And this is for Perla. Um, sharpie marker, which is really important when you're marking things up. That, let's like, say, when you have to mark up a, uh, a dressing because you're really supposed to date it and initial it. Uh, my pens for backup. My favorite pen, the pen that I use. Oh, the sharpie that I use, the real thin one. Fine point so I can write things down. It is the Sharpie permanent marker, ultra fine point. Very dope. I had this, I bought this in the pack. Find my pen. Favorite pen, best pen ever. This is a. I don't even know if I. Oh, Uniball Signal. It's the 70, I'm um, 207, and this is a mild point. Very dope. I got my pencil. This is a paper mate sharp writer number two. Lucky pen, I use it for my exams. Aside from that, we also have alcohol swabs and fetcher control when you take when you're taking blood pressure and you're using a stethoscope, you're supposed to wipe it down. And because I wash my hands a lot, and I know you probably seen it in the video because I haven't put lotion on, I got my moisturizer for my hand because when you wash your hands it's gonna get dried up really quick trust me and using that pump thing trust me it's not even a good idea it'll dry your hands up a lot more faster and of course I have my pocket organizer this is my pocket organizer and when I have pediatric for backup I also had a calculator but since it's like clinical for my fundamentals I won't really need this but this is my little pocket organizer. I have a small little pocket thing for like whatever. Like say if I want to put money in here, because you can't really walk around with a um with your wallet. Smaller pocket, 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 scissor pocket, bag pocket. And the way I set it up is get my scissor, put that there. I'm kind of in over my organization, like I like my things to be in size order. So, pencil, that's the highest one, or the one end. My two pens. Well, actually, my sharpie is shorter, so. Um, boom. Boom. That, my pen light. There, my alcohol swab stuff. What the? So damn. I need to de-block some more alcohol swabs, my friend. It goes here in the front pocket-ish. Obviously, since it's falling apart now, will it fit without falling? Yeah. There. 
the my moisturizer right there. I'm gonna wash my hands or when I have the time to moisturize my hands because dry hands result to cracking, cracking results to um, skin integrity and yeah, you're in a nursing home or in a hospital and you don't want to be like touching things with like cracked hands. I wouldn't have my, when I was on my PDI pit, just in case for our calculations, dosage calculations, I had this in my back. So this is literally everything. Packed up, good to go, organized, boom tested, freaking awesome. And aside from that too, um, this is really, this isn't like, it's necessary, but I have my little cuff, again, it's MDF, best brand ever, it came with the bag, all blacked out, all blacked out, of course, except for the dial thing, and I, I've marked everything up, I will have, make sure you will have, um, labels on your thing, regular adult and this is like and it's late tax free so you're good to go does it say like the brand the name of it no oh, it just says mdf but right, it's just again mdf instruments very dope very visible um here's one thing when you get um a cuff you know, all of this looks so nice, but the most focus that you should be focusing on is the, what would you call this, the pump? I got the pump. Well, not really, not even the pump. The dial. The dial. Because some dials, it's super duper loose, and you have a hard time on releasing or whatever. Right. Say this. Hello. Completely locked. All right. I'm putting a little bit of pressure on it. We have a lot of control on the on the cut on the dial, so it don't just. Well, you'll open up, I mean, but you have a lot of control on the knob, is that what you call it? A knob. And of course, it's all blacked out. All black everything, my G. All black everything, and that's it. Here's one thing, too. Um, I had a scrub, I bought a scrub, and unfortunately, the scrub had like a little pen thingy. You could fix that up. I'm telling you right now, if you try to get one of those pen thing and try to get something like this, it's not gonna fit. This is pocket size. It's only one to fit on pocket size. They don't make no other size smaller than this because that would mean it's like literally this tiny and it's kind of pointless. That way. What I did with my scrub is I took out the stitching, made it flat, took out all the threads and like that. Oh, one thing too, when it goes to clinical, make sure you have a watch with a second. Second hand? Third hand? Well, second hand. And that's really important when you're doing like respiration and um, pulse. And yeah, oh, in my card too, keep it hydrated, water bottle. This is, it's used it for everything in class and all that. And it's all measured out so I already know what's my fluid intake. And Basically, that's it. That's what I've been to my clinicals. Oh, um, let's say, let's say if there's a time where the teacher is telling us, oh, you have clinical, but you guys need to come back the next following day because you got an exam. This is why I rip my books. Rip my books apart. Why? Because I fold it however I want. Right. This calculator out. Take this thing out. Take this thing. Stuff it in here. And I got my nose, my G. 
ready to study on my downtime. And of course, you also need a notebook, like a pad. One thing too for the newbies, I'm letting you know if you get a pad, make sure the front you leave blank. Why do you have to leave a blank? Because a hippo, my friend. Hippo. Yeah, and basically that's it. That, that's my clinical setup. I hope this video really helped. Helped you. And, um, yeah, clinicals is fun. I'm a clinical person. Like, here's one thing too. Um, for the people who really go with the classroom, there's, there's three types of nursing students. There's the one that's really good in exams, but they suck at clinicals. There's the ones that suck at exams, but they're really good at clinicals. And there's the one that's both, that's really good at both. Those people are more likely people who had experience, they prepared enough to know what to expect from clinicals, or people that worked on the facility. Oh, one thing too, when it comes down to clinicals, uh, think like a nurse. Think like a nurse. When you're doing clinical for fundamentals, more likely you're going to be doing like AM care, PM care. If your instructor allows you to give dosage, maybe you don't go on to do that. But most likely you're just going to do AM care. And in the past, there are some people that I know that hated that. And I'll let you know, like, AM care really helps. And this really helps you gain our appreciation for the NAs, the nursing aid. Because nursing aid put in a lot of work. Those people, like... My mom's a director of nursing. Well, she was a director of nursing. Now she's the nursing consultant, which she helps consult, like, you know, the director of nursing in a facility or whoever under her. She's basically everyone except for the administrator. No, the administrator is still under her too. But she told me, like, she tells me all the time, she was like, yo, you, you know what? The foundation of the nursing home are the NAs. Be good with your NAs as a nurse and you're good to go as a you know as a lpn when you become an rn be good to your na's and your lpn's when you become a uh you know a director be good to freaking everyone well regardless you just be good to everyone the way i was brought up is you you give the same type of respect to whoever including the janitor you give them the same respect as how you would give a ceo like you give the same respect to a janitor as how you would give to a CEO. I think that came out correctly. I think so. Yeah, it came out right. I think that's the same. Well, whatever. Well, ending this video. Hope to help. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And keep hustling. Do your best. You got this, my G. If you're having a hard time, read more. Or I don't know what to say because there's really no shortcut to it. Like the best thing you could really do. To do really good nursing school is just dedicate the time. It's all about dedication. Dedicating as much time as you can into it. 